Merry Christmas and welcome to the last Ask Beck video for 2022. CJ on Facebook asks, where do I find the keyboard design collections that I have mapped in Hatch? The keyboard design collections that you have mapped are saved in a different location to the embroidery fonts and keyboard design collections that come with the software. To access keyboard design collections you have mapped using Hatch, go to your C drive on your computer and then go to Program Data. Select Welcome, then Hatch Embroidery, and then the Fonts folder. Your mapped keyboard design collections will be saved here. Annette on Facebook asks, I have this stocking I'm putting a name on. It has a fleece backing. Is there a special setting I should use? Yes, Hatch has predefined settings for use with fleecy fabrics. To use this setting, go to Design Settings and select Auto Fabric. From here, select Fleecy. Please also note here the required stabiliser for Fleecy Fabric. Click OK to apply this setting. I would also recommend using a lay down stitch to keep the fleece flat while stitching. Select the lay down stitch icon to easily generate a light background feel behind your embroidery objects. Cruella on Facebook asks, how do I place an object on top of another object? Open your sequence docker from the tab on the right hand side of the screen. Ensure the object you want to move is selected and either drag and drop to move or use the controls at the bottom of the docker to reorder. Craig asks our support team, are there any training videos I can follow? Hatch Academy is the place to go for training videos. When you purchase Hatch, you get access to Hatch training within Hatch Academy that provides over 200 lessons to help you with getting started, as well as mastering Hatch embroidery software. We also have a Hatch Academy All Access membership, which includes an additional 200 plus videos with projects and more advanced lessons. Plus new content is being added every month. Hatch Academy is available from the homepage of hatchembroidery.com. You can also access it from inside the software from the help menu and the home screen. Or visit academy.hatchembroidery.com. Thanks for watching and I'm here to answer any questions you have about Hatch, so please leave them in the comments below and I will see you next year in the next Ask Beck video. Enjoy your holidays.